Lisa Hoffman, the Hombre Realtor. Welcome to 2023. I'm here to tell you that if you're getting your housing market update from the national news, you're being misinformed. So what's happening in Bergen County is not reflective to what is happening in the rest of the country. Uh, the rest of the country, obviously, we know the entire nation um, became a virus market when rates were dropped uh, during COVID. As those rates continue to increase, a lot of people in other parts of the country were like, you know what? It's too much on backing out. When there were less buyers, obviously there was less demand, supply and demand started to even out those prices. In Bergen County, we have a lot of factors that are happening right now, right? We have um, people coming over from the city where the cost of living, especially for housing, is significantly higher. We have a lot of renters. There's a lot of um, rentals in our area. So people who may have been renting, um, which is essentially 100% interest, right? Because you're not purchasing, you have no equity, um, are saying, look, rents are going up literally over 50% from pre-COVID. Um, so in like two, three years, rents have gone up 50%. And if you are not in a rent controlled area, that's you're feeling that in your pocket. So people are saying, I would rather purchase, I would rather buy, because this is money that I can put into my pocket and this is something I can build. Whereas I'm actually paying more in rent for a house um, or an apartment or whatever of the same size than I would if I owned it, right? And, and that's crazy. So a lot of people are feeling like, yeah, I would like to buy a bigger house if the rates were lower, I might be able to, but this is still better than renting. Um, and then the third thing is we have a lot of investors in this area, right? We have people who um, took their money out of the stock market, you know, this time or a little before last year, and they're buying real estate. And, um, you know, it, it's hard to compete with cash offers uh, and, and they really don't care what the interest rates are because of the fact that they're not paying them. So you have a lot of forces in this area that is keeping the demand very high. Because the demand is so high, um, we don't have enough supply. And as a result, we are still seeing increasing housing prices, right? Um, now, I do want to clarify, they, they, have, they are not increasing nearly at the same rate that they had before, and the terms are nowhere near what they were, right? So at the height of COVID, um, sellers were saying, okay, wait, you know, wave inspection, wave appraisal, do this, do that, crazy terms, you were getting you know, on a $500,000 house, it was not uncommon to get um, an offer thirty to $70,000 above asking. You know, that's not really the case now, right? Like now you might get about 10 to 15 above asking. Um, if they really, really love the house, they might waive, you know, some things in inspection. Um, you may get an appraisal waiver, you know, but it's not the way it was. It's not um, expected automatic and as as inflated as it was in the past. So things are coming down, but they have not turned yet. Um, and I think that's important because we don't know if when they will, right? Like we don't know what that is. We know that the rest of the country has gotten hit really hard and we haven't even started to be affected. Um, we do see a decrease, but we, we haven't turned the other way. So my advice is look, if you are a seller, um, especially if you're getting out of this area, take advantage of this because we have seen things start coming down, um, especially with terms. List, you know, especially if your house is not the best one on the market, list in January, please. If you are a renter, it makes no sense to continue to pay these inflated rates um, when you can go buy a house and build equity. And if you're a buyer, when you, you look for the house that you want, buy the house that you want, you can refinance the rate. Um, when those, if those rates come back down and, you know, eventually the rates are going to start coming back down again, right? When the rates start coming back down again, you're still going to have more people come out and you're just going to go back into the frenzy that we were in before. So if you need a house, if you really are serious about buying a house, buy the house, you can refinance the rate later. Mm -hmm.